starting, of course, with goose feathers. The feathers are then cut on specially designed machines, which do not injure the delicate stem. We are then introduced to the cork bases, domed on one end to make the crew in flight. The cork is covered with white kid, sorry, covered with white kid, by gently forcing it through this board. Upon the acrid weight and balance depends the flight of the shuttlecock, and so into every base is inserted a tiny piece of sheet lead to make the correct weight. The bases are then ready to have 16 feathers inserted on a curious machine, which mechanically picks up and inserts each feather, releases the finished shuttlecock and brings the next base into position, the action resembling a bird picking up grain. There are only six of these machines in existence, each one turning out two shuttlecocks a minute. If you are more interested in sport, here is a glimpse of the 1933 Davis Cup final between F.J. Perry and J.